Hi guys, in this short video I'm going to show you how to create a bootable USB stick for macOS Ventura. And this is the final release of Ventura um, that Apple launched today actually on the 24th of October 2022. So the first step is to install or, you know, put a USB stick into your, into your Mac. And I think it needs to have 14 gigabytes of space. And obviously just bear in mind that that's going to wipe the, 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 the USB. Um, so just make sure you've, you've backed up or taken anything off it that you need. And then just go to the Mac App Store and download Ventura. So if you just go to the Apple menu and just say Apple App Store, and then just search for Mac OS Ventura. I won't show you how to do that because it's obvious. And then once you've downloaded it, it's a 12 gig download. It, it you know, obviously depends on your internet connection. It doesn't take that long to download. Um, and then it just downloads and it looks like that. So you just min minimize that and just leave that for now. And then what we need to do now is um, just rename your USB drive to my volume and then well there's two ways of doing it you can either change the command or change your, the name of this but i think it's easier just to change the name of your of your usb stick so all you need to do for that is if you just select the driving question and then just right click and say get info or you can do a, a command i and then just turn ch change that there just say my volume so it's capital m uh, capital v with no spaces my volume and then just you just press return or enter uh, when you've done that and just make sure that it does indeed call it my volume and then just find your terminal app and um, so that's just in your applications um, so it's apps and then it's in utilities and then terminal app or you can just do a command a space bar and just find it you know using your your, your quick look and um, so that's that and um, just ignore that those fonts it's just me playing around with something and then all you need to do then is just copy this command in so I've just got the command here so it's just this and this is where that references that my volume. So if you've called yours something else, then you can just change it there. You know, so if you called yours drive or whatever, then you do it there. But like I say, it's probably easy just to rename it to my volume. So just copy that entire command. So we'll just do a command C on that, get rid of that, and then just paste it into the terminal and do a command V and then hit return. And then it'll ask you for your password, which is just your Mac password. Um, and then I think you have to say yes to installing it. And then it just runs through the install. I won't do it here because obviously I've just done that. Um, well, I'll just I'll just um, quit that, um, and then once it's done, it takes it does take quite a while actually. So you have to be patient. It probably takes about I don't know, knocking on for fifteen minutes. It took on my system anyway. I've got a, an M1 um, iMac, um, so it's not the most powerful Mac in the world, but you know about ten minutes or so, um, and it counts it down. So it does like this initial bit first of all. Um, and then it just says copy into disk, not 10, 20, you know, obviously it counts to 100%. And then even once it's got to that 100%, you have to leave it about another minute or so. And then it just says, finally says, you, just, you have to wait until you see that install media are now available um, at, you know, and then, and then, and then you know it's done. Um, and then once it's done, um, all you need to do then is just simply boot from the, the drive. And this is to do a clean install of macOS Ventura, by the way, you know, um, which I always think is the, the best way to go when you're installing a new operating system, in my opinion, anyway. I know Macs are as bad as Windows for, you know, installing old operating systems on top of, you know, well, upgrading operating systems, but you still can't beat a clean install, in my opinion. And I think it's a good good, good reason to give yourself a, a clean slate. Anyway, it's always good to do that on a, on a computer every now and again, anyway, in my opinion. Um, so to so to boot from it, you just put it into the machine. Turn to, well, turn your machine off. Put the stick into your machine, or have it still in your machine. And then on a on a Mac, um, you know, on an M1 or M2 um, Apple Silicon Max, you just press and hold the power button to turn it on. So you press the power button to turn it on as you would do normally, but press keep it pressed down. Um, and then after a few seconds, it'll say showing startup options. Or, on a, I think it says actually keep it keep the button held down for startup options. And just keep the button held down, and then you get presented with the startup options. Um, you know, you can boot from your Macintosh HD, ones like Recovery or something, and then the others to boot from the USB stick Ventura. So just choose that and bump, and then you, you're away. Um, and I think for the old, well, not old, but, you know, older Macs running Intel CPUs, you, you do the, um, you press an old, the option key, I think, on the keyboard. Um, and I th you just have to sometimes watch that, because if you're using a Bluetooth keyboard... Uh, which probably many of you are. I don't always detect it. I don't think it does detect it. Actually. Sometimes you need to use a wired keyboard. And I think that's probably why they've come away from that and using the power button, which is a better way of doing it, in my opinion. Um, because I have, had, I have had issues before when you're holding down keys on the keyboard and it hasn't even registered the keyboard at that point. Um, so if you have that problem and you're not seeing the startup options, that, that's probably why. And you might just need to get yourself a wired keyboard. I mean, you could just borrow a, 
you know, any wired keyboard from, from a Windows machine or anything, it'll, it'll probably do the trick. I think that's the case. I'm fairly sure it is anyway. But like I say, that only applies to older Macs anyway. So yeah, so that, that's it. I hope um, I hope that's useful. I'll, and the command that you need that I've copied in will be in the description. Okay, cheers guys.